Greetings, brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I have a question for you. What will happen to the children in the rapture? Have you wondered about that? I have and I'm going to share some thoughts on it. We know that every sign points to the immediate event of the rapture. As we wait, we are praying for one another. I do read the comments and I do pray for you. Thanks for putting those in there. The rapture is imminent. I am watching every day as I sh am sure that many of you are. We are to keep our eyes on Jesus, our beloved bridegroom. As some of you are watching the news, especially on channels that are on target with the soon rapture, we know that the leaders of nations are making plans to push forward with an agenda even if it means using nuclear weapons. But I assure you, they will be greatly in shock and thwarted for a short time in their quest for dominance. The Lord spoke to me, and I'm going to share this time some of the thoughts that he shared with me rather than a prophetic word. I'm doing that as he told me to share it this way. I want to share a scripture before I share the information. The scripture is in Psalms 10, 12 through 18, and it says, Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the humble. Why do the wicked renounce God? He has said in his heart, you will not require an account, but you have seen, for you absor observe trouble and grief to repay it by your hand. The helpless commits himself to you. You are a helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations have perished out of his hand, out of the land. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble. You will prepare their heart. You will cause your ear to hear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may oppress no more. That's the scripture. There will be a time of shock when the humble children, the helpless children, the fatherless children, and the oppressed children, and all children of the world will be saved from harm by God. He hears their cries. The leaders and rulers of this age are oppressing and they will be halted. We know that sex trafficking of the helpless is oppression. Does God see all of this? Yes, he does. And he will answer profoundly. He said that the rescue of his people is at hand. His people and all the young sons and daughters of the nations, even the young sons and daughters of the world leaders who are threatening destruction, will be taken in the rapture to heaven for safety. The Lord shared with me that there would be an accounting, but it will cause many hearts to fail in fear. It is a mighty sign and no one on earth will be able to refute it. They will make excuses for the missing, such as alien abduction. However, when it happens to their own children, I believe there will be a somber, pause of World War III, at least for a time. The sudden rapture of the church will be a mystery to much of the world. It is even called a mystery because it is a mystery to the world of epic proportions. With the missing children as one main factor, no one will be in touch. Either they will have a child missing or know someone who has a child or children missing. The catching up of the bride and the children will have no explanation at first to those left behind. Many will experience such fear that their hearts will fail. It will not be just a time of moving on business as usual. In response, I believe that it's important to write a letter to explain what happened Date it as it is written before so that people will be able to have this truth to counter the lies that will be spread about this event. Use scripture and write them out in case there's a lack of a Bible so that the testimony is there about the rapture. Why? 
so parents who read it can understand, have hope, and be saved. Think about this, the shock of a world leader's young children who are suddenly missing. What an amazing and scary event. Though it seems harsh, this is God's mercy to remove children under a certain age before the suffering of the great tribulation. His mercy is everlasting. When it begins, people will see and understand that it was God's mercy. My encouragement is to write your letters now. Pray for distant family and friends. Pray for those who you have met in your life. I even woke up last night and was thinking about a certain relative that I haven't seen for years. I barely know him, but the Lord brought him to mind to pray for. If you journal, write some things about the times of prophetic fulfillments with scriptures to leave for people to read so that they will know what's happening. Speak to those who will listen about Jesus and his coming. This shaking will be worldwide. Every nation will experience shaking and loss of children. However, we know that the, ch the children will be safely tucked in the arms of Jesus out of harm's way. I know this question will arise. What age? I don't know. I don't know about children born during that time either. Those questions are in the Father's hands. The end of the age has come and the clouds will part and the Son of Man will soon be revealed. The rapture is upon us. Look up, Jesus is coming. This is Linda with Simple Help Now. God bless you and see you soon in the clouds.